Hello YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. This is me flipping windows and today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make a theme for Windows 8 or actually apply a theme for Windows 8. Um, this is a consumer preview that I'm using on uh, within the month of April. So I couldn't really say if it's going to really apply to other upcoming Windows 8. And just so you know, this isn't an actual theme. This is more utilities that make up the whole Mac OS X experience. There is no theme overlay. There is no UX themes, um, DLLs to apply. It's just more or less utilities that make up the whole thing. And as you can notice, the, the dock, the finder menu bar, and some other uh, stuff like X Launchpad, perhaps, or even x widgets now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and give you guys a small tour what it's about and then i'll go from there i also have a few tips and advisements and some advice to go ahead and give you guys so if you guys want to go ahead and stay tuned for that go ahead and jump over to the next um time frame when i go ahead and mention it and you guys can go ahead and see that so inside computer if you guys go ahead and see the explorer bar there isn't really much to show other than the little icons on the side of the Explorer. If you go over here to desktop, you will see windows like icons or even control panel. You won't really see much change. So if there's anything else I'd like to go ahead and show, it'd be probably this right here on the X widgets. There's really not much you can do. There are a few utilities in the programs area that revolve around the Mac OS X area, like Finder, X widget, Y shadow, Ubercon, X launchpad, standalone dock, stacks to, and switcher left sider and desktop fast and all the other stuff so yeah so that's basically it what makes up the whole mac os x mountain lion theme for the windows 8. so if you guys want what i can do is uh after this i'm gonna go ahead and show you and get right into it right now on how to go ahead and spiff up the windows 8 mac os x mountain lion experience so here we go i have a little list of things that i've been noticing if you look here uh, number one says the system sound can be a bit annoying. One way to turn that off is to go ahead and go to personalization. And trust me, you'll go ahead and figure out what exactly I'm talking about. So yeah, anyways, right click on desktop, go to personalize. And then under sounds, you want to go ahead and click on it. You'll come up with this window first. When it says uh, Windows default modified or Windows default, you want to go ahead and press Windows or no sounds, then press apply, then press OK. And that'll go ahead and relieve a lot of annoyance if that ever occurs. Number two, uh, system icons like Valium, Network, Action Center, and Battery aren't available. And what I mean by that is, if you look in my taskbar, they're completely gone. And uh, when I mean completely gone, they're not there at all. And I can't enable them. I have went through registry tax and all this other stuff. I still can't find a way. And this only pertains to my computer. I don't know really if it's gonna affect your guys' computer, but let me know in the comments bar. I really don't have an absolute or definite answer for that. Number three, uh, Windows Mobility may substitute for the lack of number two. Keep it on the taskbar, desktop, or the dock. You can find uh, MBLCTR here by typing that in. You can go ahead and pause the video or I'll go ahead and have it at the download link in the show more area. And what that does, it substitutes for the volume and the battery information if you have a portable laptop or a tablet. So here's the volume, here's the battery. There is no network status or Wi-Fi area. So uh, you're just gonna have to go through the network, network and sharing to go ahead and get to that. And I also have a widget for the volume, very minimal. It's out of sight, so that should be pretty good. So. Anyways, uh, let's see, number four, I believe. Okay, icons unable to show due to finder menu overlay. A tip is to go around that is like so. So if you have your finder bar enabled, all you wanna do is right click next to help and then press exit and you'll see your uh, taskbar with your little icons hidden. What I'm gonna do and what I would like you guys to go ahead and do is right click on the taskbar anywhere and uncheck lock taskbar. And then next, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna right click on it again. You wanna go to toolbars, you wanna go to new toolbar, and then you wanna click on desktop. All right, then you wanna go ahead and click on new folder and just put any letter W and then put select folder. All right, now with that, folder in sight, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and drag it all the way to the far, far left until it scrunches them and makes them go to this other side. Now with the new folder with your mouse over it, you want to right click on it. You want to uncheck show title. And then with this right here that you can see, you want to go ahead and just drag it just a bit right there. That should be perfect. Now next thing I'd recommend you do 
is go to your programs folder and click on finder bar and finder bar will go ahead and load all right so it's loaded it seems a little contrast to the bar but that's okay what you want to do is go ahead and grab this again a little bit to the left just right there so it doesn't overlay itself and then after that you want to go ahead and right click on the taskbar and then lock taskbar so um, after that that should do it it should take care of the problem with the whole icons on the taskbar being hit number six x widget hotkey activation should be f12 and x launch pad should be f10 unless it's taken up by some other program and not it might not register and double click desktop should only apply to x widgets go ahead and go to either of those programs go through the options and explore that yourself Number seven, left sider will work, although you will not experience the full theme of Mac OS X, the quick access bar or the toolbar will overlap. To fix this, refer to my video called Windows 8, how to replace the new UI ribbon for the original. And what I mean by that is if you go to the Explorer, and I think you've seen this in the previous, you'll see that the access toolbar is overlapped on the minimize, maximize, and close icons. All right, so number eight, Please take the time to go ahead and follow my lead in liking this video. I just want to go ahead and do this just for the support and growth of this channel. So if you guys are in the channel in the video already, all you have to do is just go ahead and press that like button. That's all I ask. And also if you're not subscribed, if you want to go ahead and stay tuned for more videos, go ahead and press the subscribe button too. Um, being that this time has been taken up to go ahead and do that, there shouldn't be any excuse to do that. All right, another thing is for number nine x widget can be a bit tricky when navigating to the metro ui interface via left bottom mouse activation and what i mean by that is if i were to go over here go into the start menu sometimes it glitches a bit and i can't really go into the full bar see as you can see all right well regardless number 10 do not expect this theme anywhere close to perfect this is not the real deal uh, and it does not display the mac os x and all the icons will not change to the Apple icon like that. Number 11, uh, shut off located on the dock will serve as best access resource to log off, restart, and shut down. If you haven't seen my other videos regarding this issue, or you can go to the finder bar menu and click on the Apple, I believe, and then you can shut down, restart, sleep, or log off right there. That would be perfect for Windows 8 if you're into the whole Apple theme. And number 12, uh, taskbar blending in with the finder bar menu. If you go to the right click, desktop and press personalize the finder bar menu might be a little discolored compared to the whole taskbar so what you'd want to go ahead and fix that is go to window color and click on either gray or white and then go to the color intensity and then right here you just want to go ahead and you know tweak on that until it matches and the finder bar menu will go ahead and blend in with your taskbar color and that should do it if you guys have any questions comments advice that you want to go ahead and give back at me go ahead and do so in the comments bar uh, i will be answering questions all the time if you guys want to go ahead and stay tuned for the next windows 8 tutorial go ahead and do so as always uh, flipping windows and take care